Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a heavy breathing sound effect in for when your character is running. And so this is going to be very similar to my how to add footstep sounds, uh, but obviously this time it's slightly different. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is actually import our heavy breathing sound effect. And then you can use my one, which I'll link a download in the description below. But I'd recommend getting your own one, as this isn't great. It's just a quick one that I've got to just to show you how it works and to get the job done. So like I say, this isn't a great one. I wouldn't recommend using it, but it's the the best one I could find with the time I had. So once you've imported it, I'd recommend putting it in its own folder, actually, uh, sound effects, just to keep things nice and organized. So I'll do that. And you want to make sure that it is a WAV.16 bit uh, file, otherwise this won't work. Um, otherwise you can't like import it to Unreal. So I'd recommend doing that. And once you've done that, we're going to right click on it and create queue to create a sound cue, so you can call this what you want, we're going to call it heavy breathing cue uh, open this up and modify it to however you want, so with this I'm just going to change the volume down from 0.75 to 0.5 <laughs> and it should sound something a little like that so obviously again this is all dependent on your own sounds and animation because the I'm using the default run animation with the mannequin which is quite short so it r repeats very quickly but again customize this however you want in all of these settings here. And if you want to do random breathing sound effect, I went over that in my footsteps tutorial as well, which will be linked in the description down below. So once you've created the sound cue, we're going to go to our run animation. So like I say, I'm using the mannequin one, so I'm going to go to mannequin animations, third person run. So I'm going to open that up. And once you've opened up your animation, you're going to want to just pause this and drag this straight back to the start like that. And then in the notifies track up here, we're going to right click, add notify, search for sound and we're going to get play sound and then we're going to select this and for the sound we're just going to put in the sound cue that we just made so I called mine heavy breathing sound cue or just cue sorry and make sure it is the cue not the actual audio file because that's where you then modified everything to make it sound different so then it's simple as this you just hit play <laughs> you can see that the character is running and it's playing the breathing sound effect and like I said again this isn't a great um, sound for this, but like I say, it gets the job done. You can tell what it is. But if I was making this in an actual game, I'd, I'd spend more time finding a better sound effect, maybe editing it a little bit. But it's just as simple as this you put it on the animation where you want it to play. So if you put it down here, it would play when you get to there. And it just repeats it for whenever the character is running. So to see this, you just hit save and minimize these, go into play. You can see that I'm walking. And if I hold shift to run, it's going to play that sound effect and if I walk again it doesn't play it and if I'm running and jump it won't play it because it only does it for when you're walking so if you want to do it for when you jump as well you obviously just do it in the same same way but in the jump animation as well so like I said it's a very quick and easy tutorial that we've done today but it's quite common that you would like to do this and it can be very easily just looked over upon and not uh, explained how to do but it's very simple and quick and easy to do, as you can see here. Like I said, obviously get a better sound effect, because this one, after a while especially, just doesn't sound too great. But like I say, it's shown you how to do it. And it really is as simple as just getting the animation, getting the sound, putting it to sound cue, and placing it on the animation where you want it to play. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've imported our sound, made a sound cue, and put it on so that it plays when we are running. So when the character is walking, we don't have anything. When it's running, we don't have anything. But when we are running, we do have the heavy breathing sound effect as if the player is out of breath while running. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.